Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at installing Lua scripts on our EFOS transmitters. So with the release of EFOS 1.4, and actually in some cases a bit earlier, we saw the addition of extra modules that we can use on our external modules. So stuff like multi-protocol modules, Crossfire, Ghost. So we can use all that stuff now. But when you look at the radio, where do you set that stuff up? So this is my transmitter. I've just done a install of version 1.4.4. So we can show that in the um, info screen. So we're on 1.4.4, which at the time of making the video is the latest version. If we go into our RF modules and we go on external module, if we change the type at the moment it's on XJT Lite, but if we look through the list, we don't see Crossfire, we don't see Ghost, we don't see Multi-Protocol, so where are they? Well, to actually get them in the list, you need to install a Lua script on the transmitter. That will enable them in the list and allow you to edit how the, the modules are set up. Now, just as a little word of warning, I don't actually have any light modules other than the XJT light, so I can't actually show this in operation. But getting the scripts onto the radio seems to be the hardest part at the moment. Once you've got those on there, the configuration should be relatively simple, especially if you're coming from like an OpenTX or EdgeTX system. You know how to do the setup part already. And another brief warning, I've been away with work all week, um, long days, didn't get back till half past 11 last night, so I'm a little bit tired. So if this video is not quite up to normal, sorry about that, but I still wanted to get a video out for you guys, um, so yeah. But anyway, let's head over to the EFOS Feedback Community GitHub, which is where you can find these Lua scripts. This is the GitHub, I'll put a link in the video description as usual, and this is the main sort of first page that you get to. If we look on here, there is this Lua folder right here. And if we click in there, we can see loads of different Lua scripts. So we have one for Crossfire, we have one for LRS. In this video, I'm just really discussing the Lua scripts for setting up the external transmitter modules. So I'm gonna ignore some of this stuff on here, but you can see there's Immersion RC Ghost here. We have Multi for the multi-protocol module. And there are a few other Lua scripts that you can install, like for example, Snake, if you ever had a Nokia. What we're gonna do is let's have a look at Crossfire, it's the top one. If you click in here, you'll just see this main.lua file. But how do you get it on the radio? There's no obvious download button, anything like that. So what, what do you actually do? Now using the internet for a while, you sort of used to sort of right clicking on it and save link as, but this doesn't actually work. So if I do that, Right, so that's downloaded, so let's take a look at it. So let's minimize that for the minute. And you can see here on my desktop, there is a main.lua file and it won't actually work. Now, if, you, if we look at this file, we can see that it's got a load of GitHub stuff in it. It's actually downloading a link to a web page which has the Lua file on it. So it won't work at all. So what is the best way to get hold of these files? Now, if you just want a couple of them, what I would suggest is doing this. So we've downloaded our main Lua file. What I'm gonna do is create a folder and call it Crossfire. And I'm gonna put that main Lua file inside the Crossfire folder. Now this is the wrong file, it won't work, but the name's already set up, so I'm just gonna copy the code that will work into it. So what I'm gonna do is open this up in Notepad, so we have this already. And we're gonna go back to GitHub, but instead of right clicking on it and downloading it we're going to click on it now you can see why it won't work it's because it's a web page the bit we actually want is right here um, and if you click on raw it makes life even easier so all we're going to do is copy everything on here we can't do right click select all on here so let's just drag and copy the whole file so we'll right click on there and copy now we're gonna go back to our notepad and this file was open. We're gonna select all, delete it, and then paste in the new code. So that is the actual Lua script. And then what we just need to do is save it. And that's it done. So that's how you can do it if you just want an individual or one or two scripts. 
But if you wanted absolutely every Lua script, which to be honest, I don't know why you would, we can download everything um, and just select the bits we want. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go back into the uh, feedback community and I'm gonna go back to the main page. Now up here, you see this green code button. If you click on that, you have the option to download as a zip. Now this will download everything. It will download all the releases for EFOS, every, all the documents, absolutely everything. So it is a massive, massive overkill. It would be much nicer if you could just go into a Lua script and have a little download button, or even on the Lua script main page, have an option just to download all the Lua scripts. But unfortunately, there is no download option here. So the two options are download everything or click into each one and get the script files that you want. I don't know if there are any scripts, but some scripts do have multiple files. I don't know if there are with these uh, EFOS Lua scripts, but if they are, it gets a bit trickier and then it might be worth just downloading the zip file. So what I will do is I'll go through that process again with multi-protocol just to go step by step through each part. And then I'll show you the downloaded zip file, which has everything so you know which parts that you need to copy to the radio. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go into multi. And again, I'm gonna right click and save link as. And what I'm gonna do, this is my desktop. So I'm just gonna create a new folder and call it multi. And I'm gonna save that main.lua file inside the, the multi folder. So what we're going to do is click on main.lua and I'm just going to select all from in this. I'm just going to select it all in this box so we don't have to go back through another page. So I'm going to copy that. What I'm going to, then going to do is we'll minimize this. We have a multi folder we just created. We'll open that in Explorer, edit uh, in Notepad. We're going to select everything delete it and then paste in just our Lua script and then save it. So there we go. Close notepad down. So there are the two folders for our Crossfire and our multi-protocol module Lua scripts. Now this folder over here is the zip file. Well, I've just extracted the file inside the zip. So if you open that up, what you'll see is this is basically the same as GitHub. So if I open that up and we go back to the, the home page and I'll put them next to each other and you can see actually what's going on. So I'll click view code and we have our GitHub folder, GitHub doc, doc, Lua, Lua, testing, etc. So we know that we just need to go inside Lua and these here are all the scripts. Now we know how to get them from both methods if they're complex scripts or you want all of them, you can just download the whole zip file. So now what we need to do is get them on the radio. So I'm just gonna plug in the USB cable, select free sky suite on the on-screen menu, and then I'll be right back. Right, so we've connected to our X20 in this case. So again, I'm gonna open another Windows Explorer. And what I'm gonna do is put this in this bottom corner so we can see what's going on. And what we're gonna do is find our transmitter drives. So in this case, it's the X20. So I have the um, internal storage and I have an SD card. If you have an X18, I think the XE, uh, I don't know about the new twin radios. They may have internal storage called the NAND storage, which is effectively similar to using your SD card. If you're using NAND storage, then put it into a scripts folder on your NAND storage. And how you know which one you're using, you have to go into the system general settings and see where scripts are running from. It will either be from the radio or from the SD card. If it's the radio, it means the NAND storage. If it's the SD card, it means the SD card. Um, but what we're gonna do is you wanna create a folder called scripts. If it does exist, we're just gonna go into that folder. So I'd already created the scripts folder. It's not there as standard, but um, you will need to create this scripts folder. So what I'm going to do is just take these two folders here for Crossfire and Multi. I'm just going to put them inside the scripts folder on the SD card in my case. And what I'm also going to do is just to show that it works is let's copy 
those two from here and we're going to put those in so you can see it works exactly the same way we've just downloaded the files in two different ways now we have that on the radio what i'm going to do is eject the drive which unfortunately i can't show on on that monitor and then we'll head over to the radio and check out what's happened right so the drives have been ejected and the first thing that we need to do is take out the usb cable and restart the radio the scripts won't appear properly until you restart the radio. So switch that on and off, skip that screen. And what we're going to do is just go into our RF system and head down to external module. Now, when I click XJT Lite, we have all the old ones that we had before, but we also have Ghost, we have Multi-Module, we have Express LRS, and we have Crossfire. And these are the Lua scripts that we've installed. Now, let me just click on multi-module and then you can set this up, I guess, in a similar way to you did, that you did on OpenTX. So we can choose which type of transmitter or receiver we're using. All the options should be there and you've got obviously different protocols as well. But anyway, that's how you install the Lua scripts on your transmitter to get access to these external transmitter modules that are now supported. I hope you guys found this video useful. Sorry, I couldn't go into it any deeper. I will try and get hold of some of these modules in the future, but most likely the first will be Crossfire because I actually use that. I don't use any of the others. But yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can get sorted out for you guys. I know that the information is useful, so I'll try and get that sorted. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell icon. That will help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to install these scripts too. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them.